In this video, we will show how to import product modifiers within the web portal. Product modifiers are commonly used within hospitality to customize an order. In retail and health and beauty, they are used for tailoring a specific product or upselling another item. We cover what price modifiers are and how to use them in another video. This video walks through how to import multiple modifiers at once using an import tool. Before importing your modifiers, you will first need to create all your main products as well as any products that will become a modifier. For this video, we are assuming this has already been done. First, log into the web portal and navigate to the products screen by clicking stock from the top menu and products from the drop down. If this is the first time you are importing modifiers, you will want to download the template file. To do this, click download template, then download modifier template and click the download XLS button. Once completed, open the downloaded file. You will see a spreadsheet with only the header row entered. This shows the required columns needed for the import and will match the elements seen in the modifier section of the products page in the web portal. When entering data into the modifiers import sheet, you will need to know the SKU of the product to be modified, as well as the SKUs of the products that will be used as modifiers, all of which need to be in the system before you import the modifiers as mentioned earlier. Enter the SKU of the product to be modified in column B, Product SKU. Column C through L match the details on the modifier section on the portal page. Here, you enter the SKU of the modifier product and the rules to apply, such as if it displays in the journal, is it applied by default, and what the minimum and maximum quantities are. If your product has multiple modifiers, you would repeat this process for each modifier product. You will have multiple rows with the same product SKU in column B as seen here. After entering all the information into your spreadsheet, you must enter yes into the first column if you want that row to be imported, otherwise the portal will ignore it on import. Once your file is ready, save it ensuring it is saved as an Excel spreadsheet. Moving back to the web portal, if you already have modifiers assigned to products, you can export the current data by clicking the export button, followed by export modifier records. Then click the download XLS button after the web portal has completed preparing your file. Once completed, open the file. You will see a spreadsheet with the header row we saw in the template along with all the other product modifiers already in the system. You can now make any changes required to the existing products as well as add additional items. Like the template file, you will need to ensure you change the first column to yes on all the rows you have changed in order for them to import. Once your file is ready, save it ensuring it is saved as an Excel spreadsheet. To import the product modifiers into the web portal, click the Import Records button followed by the Import Modifier Records. Now, click the button to launch the open window, navigate to the location on your machine where your file is, select the appropriate file and click Open. The web portal will first check the contents of the file to ensure the data is valid. When ready, tap the Import button to start the import. After the import is completed, tap the Close button. All you need to do now is click the Update Data button on the Register Login screen to receive the changes. If we add the item we applied the modifiers to in the import, you will now see those options on the Modify screen. Further information on product modifiers as well as importing and exporting data can also be found in your user manual, and if you still have any questions, please contact your support provider whose details can be found in the Register menu or in the web portal.